Baseball's return is still caught in a rundown, but starved fans in the Tri-State can now enjoy the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum, which has reopened for members. As sports reporter Keenan Singleton shows us, it has managed to hang on to a special exhibit originally supposed to last only through April. The sight of an open Reds Hall of Fame and Museum is sure to be a welcome treat for baseball fans. Johnny Bench was inducted. This summer, in addition to browsing memorabilia such as video footage and artifacts of the Big Red Machine and the 1990 World Series team, fans will see a special tribute exhibit to the Negro Leagues. 2020 is the 100th anniversary of the founding of the first Negro Major League. I look back at baseball history all the way back to 1869 and you realize that people of color, if you're skin color, that's what determined whether or not you could play Major League Baseball. The art exhibit is called Shades of Greatness. After the COVID-19 lockdowns this spring, the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum in Kansas City extended the exhibit stay at the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum. It's been traveling since um, 2004. Dr. Raymond Doswell is the curator and education director of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum. We know that that's a good baseball region with great baseball fans, so uh, we hope that they will appreciate seeing the exhibit, uh, and we're fortunate to be able to have the opportunity to have it stay there a little bit longer than we had planned. Doswell says the exhibit makes clear the present day issues surrounding racial justice aren't new. And it's important for people to be reminded of how, how difficult those times were. Executive Director Rick Walls says the Reds Hall of Fame and Museum took care to implement all required safety protocols before reopening. Plexiglass barriers at the front counter and we're doing constant cleaning and disinfecting so this is going to be a very safe environment. There are also special capacity limits for people in the lobby and the museum. We'll have a couple of exhibits that may be closed down, our broadcast area, one of the microphone spaces where you step up to try to call a play, but most everything else will be open. In the meantime, Doswell hopes the exhibit helps all who view it learn more about our difficult past. If this helps further the conversation in a positive, sobering way, then we're glad to be of service. That was Kenan Singleton reporting. The Shades of Greatness exhibit runs through July. Museum goers also will be treated to a Pursuit of the Dream exhibit, which features Cincinnati's Negro League's history. The museum reopens to the public Saturday.